Welcome to Kermit Uncut. Look, it's another lovely rainy spring morning here in London. However, there is a ray of sunshine, for me at least. I've done a series for Radio 2, four-part series called The Soundtrack of My Life. It's four programmes, begins on Wednesday, 10 o'clock on Radio 2. And it's basically a compilation of music from movies that I really love. Not just orchestral scores, but songs and strange, weird esoterica and electronica. So we've got, for example, William Friedkin, talking about the soundtrack of Sorcerer, Alan Parker, talking about Georgia Moroda's work on Midnight Express. We've got Richard O'Brien, talking about Shock Treatment, which recently re-emerged as a stage show. I'm sure you know Mark Knopfler and Bill Forsyth together, reliving the magic of the Local Hero score. And it wouldn't be a program for me without Robbie Benson talking about Jeremy. Now, if you're a regular here, you'll know that Jeremy is a film for which I have a ridiculous affection. I, I first saw it as a kid as a B feature, a supporting feature. It was playing second bill to Break Heart Pass, the Charles Bronson movie, which I remember almost nothing about because I was so knocked out by Jeremy. Anyway, we've got Robbie Benson talking about making the movie and talking about recording that beautiful song, The Blue Balloon, which he himself described as sounding all wrong and horrible, like it was somebody's first go at it, and that was kind of the point. And it made me think about that experience of bumping into Jeremy by mistake as a supporting feature. It used to be that B-films were an absolute fixture of cinema. I mean, you'd go and see James Bond double features, that's fine, that's sort of two big features together, but Jeremy and Break Heart Pass, Jeremy was just the second feature. Now, back through the history of Hollywood, you look at studios used to make B pictures that accompanied their A pictures. There was a kind of monopoly involved in that. Then later on, Roger Corman started making the kind of B movies that we now think of when you think of that Quentin Tarantino, Robert Rodriguez double bill of uh, Planet Terror and Death Proof. That's not how I think of B movies. When I think of B movies, I think of Jeremy or I think of The Wicker Man, which was the B feature on a double bill with Don't Look Now. Imagine that. You go to the cinema to see Don't Look Now and the warm-up film is The Wicker Man. But the best thing about Jeremy was not knowing anything about it. No, I didn't know whether it was an action movie or a romance. I knew nothing about it at all, other than the title and the time that it started. I wonder whether you've had that experience. You've gone to see a film and seen something else completely by accident and it's blown you away. Is there a B film that has captured your heart in the way that Jeremy has mine? And, and if you want a taste of Jeremy, then listen to the soundtrack of my life on Radio 2, in which we hear Robbie Benton talking about, and indeed singing the theme from, the film that I first fell in love with. Oh, the hourglass 